What is up, you guys? It is your host, Galadon, and the quest to 7,000 has begun. This is a look at my attack log right after the reset. So the season just reset on Sunday night, and, well, the first 10 attacks, they went okay, I would say. We've got 10 three stars. Uh, I'll give you a slight update at the end of the video as to where I am exactly right now. I can tell you that I've been in the clouds all day long, pretty much done everything. Uh, I went to the gym and I had the iPad on the treadmill. I took the dog for a walk with Gala Wife and I had my phone in my hand. Uh, I went to the bathroom, everything, take a shower, you name it. The iPad or the phone is on, I'm in the clouds. And uh, yeah, that's the way life is going to be more or less for the next 30 days. I'm gonna do my best to push a crazy amount. When I am not asleep, I will be in the clouds. Now, I do not violate Supercell's terms of service. I do not share my account with anyone else, so I can guarantee you it will only be me that is playing this account ever. And we will see how far I can get with getting a minimum of, you know, six or seven hours of sleep a night, because, you know, I'm not I'm not 18 anymore, okay? I'm, I'm just a little bit older than 18, if you guys didn't know. And so I gotta get my sleep. I need my rest. <laughs> Shut up, Peter. Uh, so, hey, anyway, I'm excited, you guys. I am pumped. If you can't tell it in my voice, I am... I mean, right now, I'll tell you right now, as the bases are coming again and again and again, it's crazy how often I'm finding bases at this very moment. And, uh, yes, here's the crazy thing. It's been pretty much a non-stop three-star fest all day long for the last, uh, what are we looking at, 15, 17 hours? Three-star fest except for one base. One base I did not three-star, and unfortunately, it's already scrolled off the log. And the whole reason it didn't get three-starred, uh, it's a little embarrassing, but I, I forgot to bring the iPad with me into the bathroom. Yeah, didn't think that I would find a village that fast, but I did, and by the time I got back, uh, there wasn't enough time to carry out a full attack. We only got most of the way through it, and we ended up with a high percentage two star. Now, we don't expect to go three stars throughout the entire season. Obviously, there are going to be bases that defend a little better than others, but right here, check it out. So many players are in the process of upgrading their Town Hall 12 to the next star level. And believe it or not, it makes a huge difference in an attack. Not having that Giga Tesla available is significant because it does so much damage, especially when you're in the core. Having the Giga Tesla ready to stop whatever is in there is going to, in a lot of cases, prevent a three star and sometimes prevent the two star. Right here, CC Loons coming out. They get absolutely annihilated by the Zap Dragons, the Electro Dragons. Then I drop the heroes down on the left-hand side. And, well, this is pretty much how things go. 90 to 95% of the time. We get just over 50, 60% of the base done. We drop in the heroes. They wrap around and do the cleanup. The E-Dragons, sometimes they do better than others. It really depends. But I will also tell you, level 60 heroes are crazy, crazy powerful. I realize it's not fair. A lot of people are not happy about that. But I was very, very lucky, very fortunate. And, of course, I'm going to... What am I going to do? Not, not use them? So, again, yes, we're going out there with maxed out everything. Thank you again, Bren Chong. Thank you again, you guys. You guys, the viewers, if it weren't for your support throughout the years... I wouldn't be here doing this, and I'm having a blast right now, I have to tell you. So thank you guys again, just hey, for being here. I know I usually say it at the beginning of the video or the end. We're going to say it in the middle. Thank you guys. I appreciate your time so much, okay? I really do. And hey, by the way, yesterday or the day before video when I said, hey, if you're still watching at the end, type 200 into the comments. And like, gosh, so many of you did. I couldn't even like all of the comments. So thank you for that as well. Uh, if you're watching this video right now, Type into the comments, I'm watching this video right now, and I paid attention to everything you said, Galadon, and I appreciate it. And I'll make sure that I like that. I just found another base, and this time it's a Town Hall 10! I just found a Town Hall 10 for 8 trophies. Alright, now, I'm showing me attacking at 12, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, deploy and start attacking this 10. This is weird. So, I'm showing one attack while I'm doing another attack. And I know you guys want live attacks, and I, I promise you... That I will do that in a future episode. Uh, but I'm telling you what, it looks almost exactly the same as it does on the screen. 
Okay, I promise. I'm doing almost the exact same thing. I am. I'm dropping freeze spells. I'm dropping rage spells. I'm hitting the warden's ability. I'm watching for where that next freeze needs to go on the Inferno Tower. Getting ready for my last rage spell. Going to drop it on the Town Hall right as the Wall Wrecker gets there. And one more freeze spell on this Inferno Tower. And then I'm going to drop the heroes off to the side. I mean, honestly, you guys... Yeah, I mean, maybe it's not super exciting. It's kind of the same attack over and over and over again. Uh, what you're seeing on the screen and what I'm doing right now, very similar, except for the fact that, well, this is a Town Hall 11, and I just absolutely annihilated. I'm swagging the King and Queen abilities, and I'm done. That attack took, like, maybe 60 seconds. So, believe it or not, you guys, I have found this was a Town Hall 10 I just wrecked for 8 trophies. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, I found a Town Hall 9 that I wrecked for 8 trophies. Uh, so, it's weird. I mean, it's cool to see players that are lower Town Hall levels pushing trophies. That's always exciting to hear about. And I like to feature that in episodes as well. Uh, but, man, I'm telling you right now, the hype is real for the quest to 7,000. And, yes, I did hit number 1 in global just a couple of hours after the season reset. Which, you know is not that exciting because a lot of people are asleep anyway but it was exciting for me just to get there just to actually be number one in global for the first time in nearly six years of me playing this game this was the first time i had ever reached that pinnacle the number one spot in global we will see where i can finish at the end of this season uh but there it is Looking pretty good, I have to admit, right there. So, I'm excited about that. I am looking forward to the series, the quest to 7,000, and I would love for you guys to join me on it. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, and hey, also, leave me your questions that you would like answered in a future episode, because no doubt, if I'm doing virtually the same attack every time, we'll need to have other things to talk about during the quest to 7,000 videos. So, let me know. We'll do full-on Q&A about personal stuff about YouTube, about Clash of Clans, let me know and I will answer it in a future episode. You guys are the hashtag Galafam. I love every single one of you. I wish the best for every single one of you. Be kind to your fellow human being because everybody could use a little extra kindness. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more Quest of 7000 Full Attacks. I mean, that's not tomorrow's episode, but I'm just saying that, that that's all I'll be doing. Okay. Full attack. Jokes. I know they're getting a bit old. <laughs>